good afternoon, good people. Uh, this is Courtney with Before Not the Cleaning Service. Hope everyone day is going pretty good. Um, I wanted to uh, kind of make a video about if you wanted to start your own scrap uh, metal service or your own scrap metal business. Uh, I've been doing this for about six years now, and um, I make an average income each year anywhere from 50 to maybe 75,000 a year just doing this. Uh, it started as a side hustle. I worked downtown Atlanta, and then I, I, you know, I lost my job downtown. My wife and I just purchased a home, and I lost my job downtown. And uh, so I started scrapping metal as a side hustle, and uh, it actually became my full-time hustle. Uh, from coming from my full-time hustle to becoming my uh, employment, from my employment to becoming my own business, and I uh, have success from it. So I enjoy doing it. So today I just want to make a video on what I do, how I got started, uh, you know, how do I advertise, how do I meet customers, um, and um, and just pretty much it to give everybody an idea on if you want to start your own scrap metal business that you can do it and you can make pretty good income. I tell people that, that ask me, that stop me and ask me, man, is the money pretty good? Um, I tell them if, if, if you need another side hustle, if you're working full time, if you want a side hustle, this is a great side hustle with little to no overhead. The overhead in doing this is servicing your vehicle, number one. Number two is putting gas into your vehicle and keeping up with the maintenance of your vehicle. And you know, that's pretty much it. That's the overhead of this, okay? Everything else is pretty much profit. It's a, it's, it's a very, very, very easy business to get into. A very, very, very easy side hustle. Pretty good money and anybody can do it. Uh, any vehicle, a car, I don't see people come across the scale with a bike. Uh, so it's, you, you can pretty much do this on, on, from any, any type of vehicle from any level. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I do as far as uh, how do I got started, you know, what do I do, the local area I ride in, for me, uh, and the consistency, which is the number one key to this. It's getting up every morning at a certain time, doing this and doing it every day. It's what people see and what people, when people see that, they, they, they get familiar with you and they say, okay, well, I know he's gonna come around this time on every day, I'm going to put that washer out there. I'm going to put that dryer out there. I'm going to put these bicycles and, and your lawnmowers and stuff like that. And that what grows your business. Also, um, new construction and, and and people moving. They are a lot of these banks, a lot of these homeowners are throwing away the old appliances. Okay, so you might pull up in your local area and you might see a contractor out there cleaning out a house. They're throwing away uh, the old the old appliances. It's okay to get out the truck, knock on the door and ask. 95% of the people that I get out and ask, they give it to me. They're thrilled to have me to pull up and say, hey man, you getting rid of this stove? You getting rid of this refrigerator? And stuff like that. So that's the key. If you're gonna start your own scrap metal business, you gotta first be consistent. Number two, get out. I had to get out here and make the income to uh to, to take care of the bills. And that's what I did. So I'm gonna show you how I got started. I'm gonna be done uh, just talking about it. I'm gonna show you how I got started. Kind of take you around. Show you how I get my checks and pretty much give you the full rundown. So let's go. Okay, this here is my trailer. This is my second trailer. Uh, this is my first trailer. This trailer is kind of beat up. You know, this is my second trailer I use for landscaping. If you can see the rails right there. Um, so this is what I collected earlier. I came out here earlier, uh, got started earlier. Then someone called me and I had to uh, pull pull up with this trailer and dropped it off. I'm just going to transfer uh, the metal from this trailer over to this trailer over here. Uh, I was using this trailer earlier to go do some scrap metal in because I was going to do just one load a day, one big load. Um, but when they gave me a call, I already had stuff on here. So I dropped this trailer and came and got this second trailer here. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to um, take the metal off of this trailer and I'm going to transfer it over to this trailer. And then what I'll do is uh, I, will sh I will go back out on the road uh, and just kind of ride around it within a local area and just kind of show you guys, give you an idea of how you can start your own scrap metal business and how it's easy to make money. It's easy to make money. Um, if, if you get out here and get started, I estimated that you can make about ten to $20,000 a year, depending on how much you do it. You got to be consistent at it. So if you're doing it on a regular, of course, you're going to make good money. I do over 60000 a year just on a base a year. You know what I mean? So, and I make pretty good, has really helped me in my life and then just the freedom of it. So I just want to show you guys, I'm going to transfer. All right, everyone, I got this trailer empty. Uh, now I got everything going to this trailer and then I'm going to ride out and I'll ride through the local neighborhood um, and kind of pick up some of the scrap metal. All right, riding down the street. Guess what I run across? Look here, stove and a dishwasher. 
all right they're doing a the clean out of the house right here and they put the stove and the dishwasher on the corner they're removing the old appliances and uh, i'm gonna get it loaded up that's the trailer there got a little room in the front i'm gonna load them up i'm gonna get it all loaded up and um get it on the trailer all righty riding through the area again and guess what some more scrap metal on the side of the road all right so i'm gonna get this scrap metal loaded up on my trailer here uh, my trailer getting kind of full you know i got a tie back there two of the tires back there but i'm gonna get this uh melt this metal this little pile here loaded up on the trailer and uh, i'm gonna keep riding through the neighborhood and like i said it's pretty easy all you got to do is just ride through your local neighborhood people are setting stuff like this on the side of the road all day long easy money easy money all right so let me get load up all righty coming around the corner just a few minutes later from where i picked up the uh the other scrap metal here you go it's about to put a pole out here look like a tilder husky got a nice little engine on it not bad eh? and i kind of get these all the time like i said you can take those engines off pay a little bit more uh if anybody know how to work on these i tell you what we definitely go in business together if you can service these i get a lot of these but yeah and then they put a, a pole out here as well uh, let me see and that pole is pretty light okay so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get this all loaded up on my trailer. This will be my last pickup for today. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then once I get loaded, uh, I get me checking. That's it. So let me get loaded up. All righty, good people. I made it here to the scrapyard. Got me a nice little load. Um, I weighed in about 5,400 pounds. Uh, so that's about anywhere between 900 about 900 pounds i think it's a little bit over 900 pounds maybe 920 940 but yeah i weighed in uh about 5400 pounds so a pretty good day um not bad uh, and that's pretty much it so i'm gonna get this trailer off. all right good people that's it i got it offloaded got all my metal thrown to the ground uh he's coming through with that um es excavator over there to uh to start lifting some of this stuff up but they got all, got it all thrown off uh this here is some wires that i cut off for some of the uh some of the uh stuff that i had and this is what i mean you can take this wire right here this is like a coaxial grade one grade two and you can stack this wire up at home in a bucket somewhere and at the end of the month at the end of the week it pays pretty good uh this here is a aluminum type um something that somebody had look like they like a fish fryer or something like that aluminum little uh pot there so keep that as well they're going to aluminum pile you know and if you come over here i noticed when i got here i didn't notice it when i first got here but i noticed it now i came over here and somebody threw a wrench out here look at this so it comes off the front of this bumper here and it's amazing what you find out here at the scrapyard yeah, look at this so you unbolt that, them bolts right there, and it, if it works, it has the plug on it. I don't want to cut the plug, but it's out here. Somebody might can use it, but yep, yep, and that thing is expensive. So, you know, I don't know if it works or not, but if it does, that's your ground wire and get your power in. You know, pretty much it. So, be amazed what you find out here at the scrapyard. Just a generator older generator uh, you can take the motor off of here and all that unbolted and stuff like that the thing about motors they pay pretty good uh they're just kind of going down in price scrap metal is going down in price uh so um it to me it does have a benefit you have to stack a lot of them and sometimes they could be very hairy trying to very very heavy trying to uh carry a lot of motors uh at one time and then they get all over your yard sometimes uh they get all over your yard and stuff like that and it could be a hassle uh so i don't really i deal with them i do break them down um, so don't get me wrong, but it's not something that I do often. Uh, this is aluminum tire. Um, now, if you can get a lot of these, these pay real good. Uh, you can take that to a, a tie shop and they might charge you two or three dollars to remove it. Um, it's not something I'm just going to mess with, but it is something that you can do. They go a motor right there as well. They're coming off a lawnmower. They go a motor right there as well. Uh, but you don't want to take the items that I would have been thrown out on the ground that they already paid somebody for it and load them on your trailer get yourself in trouble like that and so that's stuff that got thrown off right there that came off my trailer so that's pretty much it uh this is pretty much it for today 
Uh, somebody brought a car out here, uh, took the motor out of it. And that's another thing, you know, you get your motor out of it. Uh, and if you have license, uh, you get your cats off of it. The Cadillac converter pays excellent, man. I tell you, you can make your monthly pay on just a couple of cats. All right, so somebody threw the car here. So this is pretty much it. This is pretty much it. This is it for me today. I'm calling today. Like I said, I did a clean out earlier. Earlier, I'm sorry. I did a clean out earlier. And uh, so I um, I'm pretty much down for today. I'm gonna call it a day. And uh, see you guys tomorrow. I'm out.